lot of you have been asking me, do you have any hitting tips? Do you have a hitting guide? And in this video today, what we're going to attack is three game modes that I use to improve my hitting overall as a player as well as warm up for MLB The Show. So if you're new here and end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button and red subscribe button. Don't forget to also follow me on all social medias at Blademist. So first things first, you're going to go to options and you're going to see that in my user settings, I have a separate setting called warm up and basically what this setting does is it sets my hitting difficulty at legend i don't have any custom sliders i just have the hitting difficulty at legend and then everything else is pretty much exactly what i use in every single online game mode except for the in play view offense on online game modes i use high but for this warm up i use dynamic because if i hit a no doubt home run i like to see the celebration of course now for each and every single one of these you can go ahead and change the roster control or change a team to match your diamond dynasty team so for example i got the baltimore orioles and in my diamond dynasty team i have hitters such as let's get to the hitters tony gwynn cal ripkin and chipper jones i could go ahead and add these players to the baltimore orioles until i got the same starting nine that i have on my diamond dynasty team and that all you have to do is go to the baltimore orioles press square so it could auto fix the roster and then you can press x and press lineups and then you basically get the opportunity to adjust the lineup versus whatever pitching hand you're facing to how exactly you have it on diamond dynasty so that's going to be great help for any of you that want to implement the same team that you have in diamond dynasty now you don't have to save the rosters but if you want this to be a lot quicker for the following time you do it i suggest you go ahead and save the rosters now the first game mode i'm going to be showing you all is custom practice now it is essential that you go ahead and pick the home team because if you pick the away team you're only going to be getting fastballs when you go up to hit now you can face either the mid-century mid groundbreakers you can face the expansion era boomers or you can face the long ball beasts but i suggest that you face one of these three teams on legends because they have most of the pitchers that you are going to see in ranked seasons so for example me personally i like to start off against the expansion era boomers and i like using the national league all-stars again them because the national league all-stars they have a good little lineup where you get a bunch of left-handed hitters you get a bunch of right-handed hitters and it switches with every single hitter so that's perfect that way you can practice hitting with a right-handed hitter and a left-handed hitter of course if you're using your diamond dynasty lineup then you don't have to worry about that all you have to worry about is hitting with those same cards that you're using online but since you're playing on legend difficulty what it allows you to do is it allows you to learn how to hit a fastball most effectively and therefore when you go back down to all-star or hall of fame it won't really sneak up on you so as soon as you enter the game mode all you have to do is go to create play the national league, league it has one of two lineups either one where christian yelich is actually the leadoff hitter or nick markakis regardless as you guys can see you're going to get off speed pitches as soon as you switch and another great thing about this lineup is as i said previously it's lefty righty lefty righty lefty righty righty lefty and then another righty so it's a great lineup nonetheless another important tip that i have for you all is i play or i face them until i get one run in so after i score one run on nolan ryan meaning i got a bunch of good squared ups or i hit a solo home run off of nolan ryan i go ahead and change the pitcher to the next one up so then i would face tom siever another important thing to do is let's say you got a single with nick markakis and then you ground it into a double play with nolan arenado and then you got a double with harper and then you struck out with goldschmidt now the next time you face nolan ryan since you did not score a run you're gonna want to go ahead it's gonna reset you back down to nick markakis don't allow it to reset you go to the next hitter start off with freddie freeman and continue working yourself up throughout the lineup until you get to the final hitter which will be javier Baez, and then you restart back to nick markakis but do it as if it's an actual lineup the same goes for your diamond dynasty team if you are using it and continue going up in terms of pitchers until you've scored one run on the majority of the pitchers or until you feel good enough to enter ranks. now of course these pitchers right here are all mainly righties but 
you will get the occasional two lefties after you're done playing these pitchers meaning you've gotten a run on each and every single one of them you could go and change it from expansion boomers to one of the other three legend teams and then head back in here and face them or you could also set up a team with all of the starting pitchers that you struggle against and then face them with the national league all-stars on legend difficulty now the second game mode that i have that i use and this one i used a ton when the game first came out i'm not sure if i have any saved data so what i would do is i would create a franchise now you could use the current rosters and the current rosters will be whatever you want ahead and edit it in the roster control so if you want ahead or you're going to want to save the rosters that you edit and set up to your Diamond Dynasty team. That way you can just load the saved rosters. Here you're going to see, I believe, Raiden rosters because this is the best updated franchise roster when it comes to MLB The Show. And then you're going to set whichever team you put all of your Diamond Dynasty lineup players in or whatever team you want to go ahead and play with. Me personally, I'm a Dodgers fan, so I would always pick the Dodgers. And all I would do is set everything to auto-manage. I'm not going to be looking to actually play this game as if I was a GM. I'm just looking to warm up. So all I would do was play next game. First guy I'm facing is Robbie Ray. Pretty good pitcher. He throws good off-speed pitches and has a good fastball. Keep in mind, we are playing with our difficulty set on legend i always put clear skies unless of course leave it at default because some people do play with rain falling i don't know how they do it but they do now the dodgers they're a little different because they have a bunch of lefties but you can set the lineup how you want so you can get lefty righty lefty righty as much as possible or you could just have your diamond dynasty team there as i said previously so unless you're working on your pitching you don't go ahead and actually pitch to the Arizona Diamondbacks all you do is you're gonna go ahead enter the game and fast forward an inning almost every single time so you go to quick manage you press try and go and boom you start off with Corey Seager now you're facing Robbie Ray and he has a slider and a curveball and he throws at 93 91 two, 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 two good off-speed pitches so you learn to adjust and you learn to actually work in in real life or not in real life but actual game situations as opposed to custom practice where there's nothing on the line here you have nine innings to match the amount of runs that the cpu actually goes ahead and scores or you have nine innings to actually just go ahead and blow the cpu out of the water on hall of fame difficulty i'm gonna go ahead and save it right here because it does not really matter to me the last game mode that we're gonna talk about is one in diamond dynasty and to me this could be arguably one of the best ones now if i had to rank them i would go ahead and choose them this way i would put custom practice at number two i would put this diamond dynasty one at number one and then the franchise one on number three but if you do go ahead and switch up all the rosters to match your diamond dynasty team i would most likely go ahead and put the diamond dynasty one at number one well i guess the list doesn't really change but what you do here is you go to extra innings you already have your diamond dynasty team set you go ahead and face any of these players that have a high overall. You face them on legend difficulties. It does not matter who you face. You can pick away. You can pick home. Once again, it does not matter. Well, you're going to want to pick away if you want to be hitting. Now, the only unfortunate thing about this is that I'm sure it reflects on your starting pitcher's record. So you might want to go into these with a team full of common starting pitchers that way it doesn't reflect on the record especially if you're going to be quitting out non-stop now this is my no money spent series so i'm not really too worried about what it reflects in terms of the record what you're going to be facing is basically other diamond dynasty teams now unlike my no money spent series your team or not no money spent series this is actually tears unlike my tears team right here you're going to be facing teams that are full of diamond players full of either signature series players or you're going to be facing certain teams that have certain builds like these i'm pretty sure he's most likely doing conquest so he either has a bunch of postseason players or a bunch of all-star players you play whatever wherever you feel comfortable with and look at that we're playing on legend difficulty once again and we're facing matthew boyd and i'm gonna take three pitches just so you guys know that we're not only going to be getting fastballs here and we're going to be basically just like in franchise working in a in real life game mode 
or a game mode situation that reflects to the actual online game mode since we are going to be facing a pitcher and we got a certain amount of innings to either make a comeback or lose the game by not scoring any runs. Now those are the three game modes that I suggest you go ahead and use to practice and improve your hitting. The best thing out of all three game modes, especially if you go ahead and set your team with nothing but common players, is you never have to worry about the common players going out there and messing up your record for your starting pitcher, of course. You're gonna have to pitch, but if you just quit out after every single half and only hit, it's a great way to warm up. So if I had to rank them once again, I'd go with the extra innings, first place. Second place, I would go with the custom practice and then third place franchise. Why I put franchise third is because franchise, you're not facing exactly the most difficult starting pitchers in the world. And because you're gonna be using your Diamond Dynasty teams on franchise, their PCIs will appear bigger because they will have a higher vision than the pitcher's hits per nine and case per nine since most live series players aren't juiced up to be 99 overalls but if you're using let's say a team like the baltimore orioles or just a live series team like the detroit tigers you're gonna be facing pitchers and it's gonna be pretty difficult since their pcis will be shrunk now yes you guys do see that 590 rating and you might be saying to yourself well why am i taking tips from a guy that only has pennant race status right now well I do have a tiers team as you guys see and this is the team we're currently rocking with in ranked seasons and trying to get to world series by upgrading their tiers based on their performance we have a whole series on this if you are interested in checking it out but that's basically what I do to warm up my hitting I don't go ahead and alternate any of the sliders in terms of adjusting it and increasing the fastball speed because usually when I do that and then I end up going to any online game mode I swing out of my mind in terms of reacting to the fastball and when I say out of my mind I mean I literally am so early that it looks disgusting from my point of view and my opponent's point of view as well the way that I'm swinging so I generally just leave it at what Ever the default settings is and also one thing you want to make sure to do is before you head into an online game mode you want to go ahead and change it back to your default game mode where you play most of your online games at so here, here as you guys can see I use in play view offense on high and my pitching difficulty and pitching interface might be different than what I'm using on warm-up and I do have button accuracy and all of that now if you guys want also a pitching tips and guides video just make sure you guys leave that down in the comment section below and i will make sure to go ahead and give you guys that but if you did end up enjoying today's content make sure you go ahead and hit that like button or red subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all social medias at blade miss same way as youtube channel username and as always i will catch you all on the next one peace out